for years, the go-to silhouette for a pair of jeans was the skinny jean. We all knew how to wear it. We all have plenty of them in our closet. And then not too long ago, some Gen Z influencer announced to the world that skinny jeans are dead and left the rest of us scrambling. Well, I am here to tell you that skinny jeans are not dead and you can wear them with confidence now and for years to come. This is not an or situation. This is an and situation. You can wear straight leg, wide leg, boot cut, flare, and skinny jeans. And you can wear whatever the heck you want. There is really no such thing as the fashion police. But if you're interested in some ways to bring the skinny jean into 2022 and 2023 and beyond, then keep on watching for some of my ideas, tips, and tricks. So who is this video for? Who am I making this video for? Well, in a way, I'm making it for myself. I am speaking about the ways I prefer to wear skinny jeans and I'm talking to women who have a similar style of fashion to me. I am talking about the women who want real outfits for real life situations, who aren't going into a corporate office, who aren't looking to be the latest, most trendiest person, but you want to be pretty much up to date. You're not necessarily looking for edgy street style. You want to wear something you're going to feel comfortable with in your everyday situations, whether it's going to the grocery store, volunteering at your kid's school, meeting friends for lunch or dinner, those sorts of casual everyday situations. Now, before we get too much further into this, I'm going to be sharing tons of examples, some of which I will be wearing myself. And in that case, please do check the description box where I will give you links, lists, sizing, pricing, all that sort of information. If you're unfamiliar with what the description box is, it's actually not a description box per se, but somewhere near the title, it's either going to say show more, more, or there's going to be a little carrot that you click and it'll expand beneath my head. If you're curious to get some more information on some of the products that I'm about to share. So first of all, let's talk about why we want to keep skinny jeans around. Well, first of all, they might be more flattering to your body type. They're also generally preferable to petite women because there's less fabric to fight with. You also might want to keep them around in your outfit rotation because they're just easier to wear. Let's face it, when you put on a pair of skinny jeans, you don't have to go through a whole weird formula to figure out what shoes, what length, cropped, not cropped, what top, straight jeans, I'm talking to you. Skinny jeans go with all the things. They're also a great alternative to leggings, another closet staple for those of us that like casual everyday wear. But sometimes leggings just aren't gonna work for you. Maybe you want or you need pockets. That pocket placement on the rear end can be very helpful for certain rear ends like mine. And also let's face it, jeans give a little more coverage to your private parts. They're not quite as on display in a pair of jeans versus a pair of leggings. And then there's also situational necessity. Sometimes a pair of skinny jeans just work more. Case in point, if you need to actually wear rain boots or knee-high boots for a certain situation, you can't tuck a pair of bootleg jeans into a pair of knee-high rain boots. So there are reasons for keeping them around. So let's get to the actual jeans themselves. What should we be looking for? Well, right now, dark wash, is better. Black is probably even better, especially if you're thinking of using them as a swap out for leggings, because generally speaking, when we wear leggings, we tend to wear black leggings. So that's an easy swap, black leggings, black jeans. But if you don't want to go that route, then just darker wash is best. This one is hard for me to admit. I, can, I will admit when I'm wrong, but generally speaking, I've come to the conclusion at 49 years and almost nine months old, <laughs> that distressed jeans might not be ideal for my age group. I'm not about to get rid of all of my distressed jeans, but as I am purchasing new pairs, I am choosing those that are not distressed. Now, a raw hem, that's a different story. I'm still good with that, but I'm talking about artfully placed holes around your knees, your rear end, etc. Let's avoid those for this kind of skinny jean look. Rise is also something that is a little controversial and what I am giving my opinion, which is all I'm doing, or sharing some tips, I'm talking to people who fall in the middle 
of the bell curve. There's always going to be exceptions and there's always going to be extremes. If you know me from previous videos, you know, I'm not someone who likes extremes. I like living in the middle of the bell curve. So generally speaking, skinny jeans right now, you are looking at a mid rise to a mid to high, like a middle high rise, not an actual high rise and not an actual low rise. And yes, stores are now starting to show low rise jeans. Ugh, okay. But for some body types, that is a preferable rise. So it's nice to have options. The one that I'm most excited about is length. I will admit the straight crop style that is very big right now is really hard to pull off, especially now that it's getting cold or where you may live, it's probably been cold for a while, but I'm talking to you from San Antonio, Texas. And as I'm filming this, it's gonna maybe hit 80 degrees. So, it might work for me, but for most of the country who's experiencing winter weather, this crop thing is not going to fly. So the nice thing about skinny jeans is that generally speaking, you want the bottom of the jean, the hem, to just have a tiny bit of space between the top of the shoe. Now, if you're wearing sneakers, generally you want a little bit more space. If you're wearing an ankle boot, you know, it can just graze the top or just maybe a centimeter above, obviously if you're tucking them into knee boots. The point is moot. But the nice thing about skinny jeans is that you don't have to buy different lengths depending on what kind of jean you pair it or what kind of shoe you pair it with. You can still cuff them or roll them or tuck them under if you prefer. But I will also say I am excited that I have discovered quite a few retailers, many of whom are very affordable, that are now offering jeans in four, sometimes five inseam lengths, and I will list that brand below. And I do wanna flip back to fit, sort of. Skinny does not mean super skinny or skin tight. Let's leave some things to the imagination. And in that regard, I do like that a lot of brands are now carrying different fits. So I'm gonna talk about me, because that's the only body I'm really familiar with. I am generally a size four to six, depending on whether there's vanity sizing or not. I carry most of my weight in my lower belly, my hips and my thighs. I'm sort of an hourglass figure. And I've recently discovered that the curvy fit option that you can find at White House Black Market, at I think Loft, at Maurice's, quite a few places fits the way my body works better than the traditional, more straight up and down. So try experimenting. If you haven't been happy with skinny jeans, try a curvy fit and see if that works better on you. Now let's talk about what shoes to wear. And like I mentioned earlier, the nice thing about skinny jeans is that all the shoes, all the shoes go with it. There are one style of shoe that I'm gonna say, let's just talk to the back of our closet. I'm not telling you to throw anything out or give anything away, but 2016 to 2018 was the rise <laughs> of the, I laugh because I, I was heavily into it as well, the over the knee boot with the long flowy cardigan and like the blanket scarf or the infinity scarf. That's not the more updated way to wear skinny jeans. So let's take the over the knee boots, put them in the back of the closet. They'll probably come back before you know it. So don't get rid of them. Those are probably also pretty expensive. So just hang on to them. And let's talk about some alternatives to that. Also, while you're putting that away, put away the blanket scarf and the infinity scarf. We're not, we're not, generally seeing those out and about. Boots are not out, of course, and taller boots are very much in, but instead of the over the knee style, look to an up to the knee style and maybe have a bit of a Western flair. I don't wanna say cowboy boot, but definitely Western styles. Maybe slight heel or a slight or a lower heel than we're used to seeing. Those are all good. I will not say that the riding boot is dead. I know a lot. it's kind of funny when you go all over the internet, you're gonna see just as many people say riding boots are in and riding boots are out. What I will say is that a, ride, a classic riding boot worn over a pair of dark wash skinny jeans with a white button down shirt is always going to be on trend, but more on that later. Back to boots. Chelsea boots are having a big moment right now, especially if they have a little bit of a heel or a lug sole, especially if they're black paired with black jeans. If you wanna make your legs look way longer and thinner than they are, black jeans with black shoes, whether it's ankle boots, knee high boots, Chelsea boots, 
that is definitely gonna give the illusion of much longer, slimmer legs. So Chelsea boots are really big. Sneakers are always gonna work. They're sort of the staple of the everyday running around mom outfit. Again, the trick to keeping them on trend is to make sure there is some separation, just a little bit, we don't want you to freeze, between the bottom of your jeans and the top of the sneakers, and make sure you're wearing no-show socks with those sneakers. But my personal preference for skinny jeans is the chunky, ankle boot with slight notch or cutout on the side. This is very specific, but let me explain why. So like I mentioned, I carry most of my weight in the lower half of my body. My legs, my ankles are not noticeably slimmer than my calves. So I like the ankle boot because it lengthens my leg because it has that heel and the heel is chunky. So it's easier for me to walk around than say a thinner heel. And those little cutouts on the side do make my ankle look a little more slimmer than it actually is. So that is my personal preference. And now let's get to tops. And so this is pretty simple. You want to consider balance and proportion. So we're wearing something that's pretty tight fitted on the bottom. You wanna balance that out by wearing something that's less fitted on the top. So a few of the big trends that work really well with skinny jeans, first of all, oversized blazers. So the 90s are still having a moment right now. So big oversized jackets, even with shoulder pads, is great paired with skinny jeans. Now, a lot of the trends are showing them paired with straight leg or flare or boot cut, and that's fine, of course, but for some people, especially more smaller proportion people, that's a lot of fabric. It's really overwhelming. So one way to tone it down is to only have the bigger oversized look on one part of the body. Also, if you wanna sneak in another trend that's, is it even a trend if it's just always in style, is a graphic t-shirt, wear that under the blazer, and don't feel like you need to go find some cool band t-shirt. Pull out your like high school tees, your kids' high school tees, your, your alma mater, wherever, give it a new life, wear it under an oversized blazer. Another big trend that it's just not going away. Love them or hate them, shackets or shirt jackets, they're not going anywhere. Think of them sort of as the 2020s version of the 90s flannel, which I very clearly remember wearing throughout my college years. This is another easy thing to pair with skinny jeans. Wear them over a Henley, some sort of waffle knit, a tank, what have you. You've got your shirt, you've got your jacket all in one, you've got your comfy pair of broken in skinny jeans throw in some ankle boots and you can relive the 90s without looking like you're stuck in the 90s. Now, if you watched my how to not look frumpy video, which got quite a lot of buzz over the discussion about cardigans, let me clarify cardigans. If you want to be more modern looking and more on trend, and that's a big if, if you do, then currently the fine gauge, close fitting, shorter cardigan is not on trend, or even the longer cardigan, is not really a big thing. Chunky is in, chunky is in. So this is the time to pull out the chunky and the oversized, whether it's a slightly short cropped cardigan, if that's something you feel comfortable with, or even a slightly longer one, stops at the top of your hips. For me, I prefer it stopping right under my rear end because like I said, I don't need my hips to look any bigger than they are, so I want the chunky fabric to go a little bit past the hips. Pair those with skinny jeans, you are good to go taking that trend to just overall chunky, oversized sweaters. We saw a bunch of them last year get released. The chunky sweaters are back. Big trend that very reminiscent of the 90s again as well, that big slouchy oversized sweater look paired with the leggings. All we need are the high top Reebok sneakers and we're having a full on 90s moment, but <laughs> Let's keep it in the mid 2020s and just put them with skinny jeans and maybe some cute sneakers or Chelsea boots. And then the last top that I wanna recommend is a button down shirt. Some people say button up. I did recently go on the Saks Fifth Avenue website. They do call them button down. I was raised in the Chicago area. I don't know if that's affecting how, why I call it button down and some people call them button up. But either way, let's just call it a blouse that buttons. This is the time to pull out your blouse that's actually blousey, like not a real slim fitted one, but one that has a little bit of drapey material, tuck it all the way in, all the way around. This is not the time for the half tuck, the French tuck, the side tuck, the half in and half out thing. Tuck it in all the way around like a normal person and then blouse it out. 
and that loose billowy fabric paired with the skinny jeans is a really cute look and one that is never going to go out of style. So those are a few of my tips, opinions, and insights on how to keep wearing skinny jeans and why you should keep wearing skinny jeans. And let me conclude with this. I've said it before and I'm saying it again. If you like what you see in the mirror and you don't want to change a thing, then don't. The only person you need to please is yourself. But if you are looking in the mirror and you're kind of bored with what you're seeing or you're stuck in a rut and you don't know what to wear, I'm hoping that this video helped you give the clothes you already have in your closet another look, maybe inspired you to pair them in new ways. And if you feel like going shopping and getting some new things, maybe this will help kind of direct your search so you're not overwhelmed by all the options that are out there. Thanks for hanging out with me today. I hope that you had fun. I sure did. And I hope to see you in the next video. Bye.